Okay, so our first question is, what was life like growing up? Uh, yeah, right. yeah, really, it was, we were kept busy, not like you people today when you're going around doing this. We always had things to do, we we're, were never home really, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, I know her since, uh, what, 11 years old? <laughs> yeah, right. 12 years old? We grew up on the same court, you know, so. We were that, yeah. He was about uh, the boy across the street. Yeah. And we've known one another since, well, probably since we were maybe 11 or 12. I know it. That oh, wow. we've known. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Yeah, and you know what? We had a great life. We were always out the back end. Yeah. You know, we great had. Upgrade. You know what? We lived in a project. We had so many friends, mm -hmm. which is great, you know? Great yeah. Mm -hmm. We lived in the project. <laughs> the project. We're townies. They're, they're called condos today, but we lived in the project. <laughs> we're townies. <laughs> okay, do you guys remember the first time you guys met? I know you said 11 and 12. Yeah. yeah. But do you uh, remember meeting or no? Just no, because we lived on the same court, so we always walking by each other. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, right. And she never realized, when she got out of school, I was up in the third floor window with binoculars watching her. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody was. He was up on the third floor, and he hung out his leg and he had a cast on his leg. And then the next thing you know, he had a cast on his arm and then he broke his jaw. So he was a lot of fun. <laughs> he was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, do you guys remember what you guys did on your first date? What, our first date was we went to the movies mm -hmm. and it was in downtown Boston and we got to see Love is a Many, Splendid Thing. That was our song, and we had those. It's on our rings. Really? Yeah, I, I have Love is a Many, and, and she's I, got Splendid yeah, Thing on her. I never knew that. Yeah. So cute. Yeah, I can't get the ring off. <laughs> and I can't get mine off. Oh my God. But it's on there, Love is a Many, Splendid Thing. Right. Cute. Yeah. So, yeah, that was a, yeah, that was a big night. That's right. <laughs> we had to, we had to take the train to Boston to the movies, and then we got back on the train and we went home, right? And then we used to walk to uh, Howard Johnson's yeah. in uh, the Feldway. Yeah, and uh, we'd walk if we wanted pizza. We walked to the North End, and yeah. that that place is still there. The same company is still there. Mm -hmm. That's many years ago. That was Joe's Pizza Guy. <laughs> the finest pizza in town. I remember one time I, I took her over there. We, we went together, and I had my leg broken, and I was on crutches. So we had a pizza. We're coming home. I'm like this, you know. And I spot a ten dollar bill. I threw the crutches up in the air, and I dove. Finding ten dollars was like a uh, hundred thousand in those days. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. You know. His leg was healed. <laughs> I was acting all the time. But I, I never broke anything. I was just phony. Yeah, he never broke anything. Yeah, right. Oh, he Except for our date. And what about broken jaw? His broken jaw was the worst. He played hockey. He got hit with the puck in his jaw. And now he couldn't open his mouth. It was like it was broken. He ended up in the hospital. He, he lost about 17 pounds at That's that easy, time. Yeah. yeah. And he had to eat baby food. And fraps. Because, <laughs> well, you know what they did? They, they put all, all metal. Wires. There's yeah. wires. Uh, you know, it was awful. And then some of my friends were really busting me. They pulled up in the car and they told me in the car, oh, we're going over and get some nice big submarine sandwiches. <laughs> I'm going to get this and that. And they knew I couldn't eat, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they were mean. And then we went out. Did I have to? I think I got the wires out. Right. And we went over to. Oh, uh, we went to Blindstrom's in South A. Which was a famous place years ago. Yeah. All great shows were in there and all that, you know. And out comes my meal, and I couldn't eat. I tried to open my jaw and I go, he, <laughs> he got scallops, and he couldn't open his mouth to put the scallops in. So that was really great. That was a big thing because he had the wires taken out. Mm -hmm. And he walked, he went around like this. Hi. Yeah, I used to be a really tall person that did that. Been to it? Yeah, you walked. Yeah, I know. What do they yeah. call people to do that, though? They talk for uh, 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 yeah, uh, a little bit? Oh, yeah. I'm very fellow cooks. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. That's it. How many more? 
Um, do you guys remember the first time you guys knew you were in love with each other? Um, I do. Well, it was the first time we were, he asked me to marry him. And we were in, um, we were in the project and we went for a walk and we were going through these two buildings to go out to Bunker Hill Street. And with that, he stopped me and he grabbed my hand and he had uh, an engagement ring. And he said, will you marry me? And I said, what? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> so that was the most romantic engagement. <laughs> Quite a place, huh? Yeah, right. It's so classy. I know, and every once in a while we used to go by there and see it. Two big buildings, middle of the project, and I'm walking through there, and that's when I asked it, you know. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> oh, God. So the next question is, what is some advice about life that you'd give to your kids or grandkids? All right. Um, respect. Yeah. Really. Love one another. I was going to say, watch each other. Yeah, 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 really. Yeah. Um, yeah. Be, you know, be kind, you know, and be helpful, you know, and your family is so important. You really, you know, communicate, make things better. And you have to be strict, too. Just, you know, you just don't let your kids right. do all this, and you have to be strict. Right? And make sure that when you're married, if you have children, you know your children's friends. I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. And my, you know, your mom and Jill and that, you know, and Cheryl, Joseph, always made really good friends. Mm -hmm. Really. So I would say that the whole thing is to just love your family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. We did. We did. Yeah. We still do. Yeah, oh yeah. Right? Yeah, we're lucky, you know. We but talk, we talk, you, you talk about that. I go to those meetings in Charlestown. They haven't gone for a while, but every five years. And then the last time I went was the last two years, two years ago. And these are all guys from the project that I grew up with. And we all agree, we are so lucky we were born when we were born. Really, I wouldn't want to be born today and have young kids. I don't know how families are doing it. It's so sad out there what's going on. So you know, true. we grew up, it probably did happen, but you know, even have TVs or anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My mother and father never drove a car. My father didn't drive until he was 40. 40, yeah. He, he drove so he it's hard bringing kids up today. It really is, you know. Yeah. And TV. There's nothing to watch. Years ago, we'd sit and watch TV on that. There's nothing. Howdy TV. Doody and yeah. Mr. Blue Jeans. And, yeah. <laughs> and we used to go to the movies. Howdy Doody. All those. Yeah. Those were the fun things. Hey, kids, Howdy Doody's on. We oh, and the, you know what? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> but the night that we watched Lassie, the kids would come in and lay on the floor on their bellies and watch Lassie. They loved that. They should bring that back. Yeah. Really. <laughs> it wouldn't be a dog, it'd be an animal, it'd be yeah, it's a polar bear or something. Today. <laughs> I don't know. It is sad. Cause we used to go almost every Tuesday. You know, and then go to a movie and then go out and eat. And we haven't seen a movie. I, there's nothing out there to see, you know? Mm -hmm. so right. Other than that, yeah, there's nothing. Yeah. yeah. Times have changed. Yeah. But that's where it comes into play. If you have your family, you have choices. Mm -hmm. So I always try to make the good ones. Mm -hmm. It's difficult, very difficult. Yeah. So, what? Uh, the next one, though. I'll be asking you questions. Okay? All right. Um, well, uh, what's your secret to your marriage? Uh, love and respect. Yeah. yeah. really. That's, you know, We watch really. over each other very close. And Togetherness. Yeah. Togetherness, yeah. Yeah. yeah we Always talk. helping each other, no matter what. Always helping. So. Yeah. We work together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, what's like teen spirit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? True. I got the shovel, okay. I got the rake, all right. You want to work in the garden? Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, we always work together. 
Right, we did. Yeah. And you know what? Grams worked really, really hard um, when we used to go to Swarm and we would rent. And we loved it so much that we found out that it was going to be, um, mm -hmm. you know, a couple of places were going to be sold. And we just said, we, let's do it. And it's been the most wonderful time knowing that everybody loves it, enjoys being there. You know, that's that's been a real saving grace for us, no, really, no. to keep it. I love to hear the grandkids talk about it, you know. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Especially, you know, going up to Rattlesnake and different things like that. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But it's changed up there. I hate to say no, it. No, 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 no. People have changed a little bit. <laughs> you know why we're too old fast. <laughs> Uh, what are some um, important things that you've learned in life? Uh, important things, uh, well, important things. <coughs> to me, well, as your kids know that we volunteer. And volunteering has really shown us that, you know, people appreciate what you do for them. You know, it's like, wow. Uh, you know, you make put a little dinner together for somebody, they're thrilled. Uh, you know, give them a little a second milk. It's it's all the little things in life that I think probably is the most he helpful. Mm -hmm. Just the little things, and if you get pleasure out of it, like we have, then you know what you're in, you're going down the right road. I always say it's. It's so sad sometimes we go up there and see certain people coming in, they're stuck in their wheelchairs and on the walkers and all that, you know, and you go, oh my God, you know. So we try to help them, you know, yeah. sort of up, get the chairs up for them and stuff like that. So yeah, so it's important to, yeah. we have learned that, yes, there are people out there that need other people. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And then another question, what has gotten you through the difficult times in life? Oh, we've had some di difficult times, huh? The guy above. Um, I, I say a lot of prayers. I do. Yeah. I really do. All right. Yeah, every night before I go to bed, I I have a list and a half, and she does it in the morning, you know. But yeah. if, if I'm down, and I, you know, I'll say, I'll look above and say a prayer and say, come on. Especially when she first got cancer. Years ago, that word cancer mean, used to mean almost death. You know? mm -hmm. I remember calling my mother up to tell her. I couldn't even pronounce the word. Mm -hmm. Hey, Myra, uh, Helen's got, uh, and I couldn't say I started crying, you know. And, uh, well, thank God now that she's wow. come a long way. She, she's a fighter and a half, twice with it, you know, what she's going through. Well, now. you know what? See how lucky I am because I've had a man right beside me through all the typical times. And without him, I don't know how hard it would have been for me. But he was always made it happy, funny, <laughs> you know, all, all of that. So I am very, very fortunate to marry this guy from the project. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's funny, I don't know why, I was thinking of something today about this, really. I remember when she was told she had cancer. I'm, dr I'm driving home or whatever, and I'm going. Oh, I hope, oh, I, I hope Denise reaches 13 years old. Yeah. So she'll be able to take care of the kids, <laughs> so I can go to work and you know. So things like that yeah. you went through, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. so that bothered them. Yeah. Bothered me big time. I know it. Yeah. Oh, With the responsibility. Yeah. But. Well, I say she's a fighter and a half, and still is. Good and the only reason I married, I couldn't beat her in basketball. I couldn't beat her in bowling. <laughs> <laughs> we tried arm wrestling. I beat, I beat her in that. I beat her in races. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, we're lucky. It's a great life. Yeah. Yeah. We've mm -hmm. had a great life. Yeah. yeah. All because of all you kids, right. the grandkids. Grandkids. Very my, important. My kids. Very important. You know, you made it. I know it. Such, such a pleasure to have wonderful, wonderful grandchildren. We really love you guys <laughs> so much. Right. We really do. Grandma versus Jake, Elena, and Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. When we say a friend, yeah. 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 Kind of uh, and we uh, get Amber and Zach, which is sad, you know. Yeah. But someday. Someday, we'll never give up. But yeah, it, it, I, when I go to bed, it's like I am watch over Denise, Cheryl, Jill, Joseph, uh, Zach, Emma, Brianna, Marissa, Jake, Elena, Lauren. Kira, Kendra, <laughs> Megan, and Owen. Yes! <laughs> That's why I remember my own name when I got it. <laughs> oh, God. Crazy people. That's it? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this no, one's God. just for Grant. What was, the, what was it like being in the service for you? Well, I guess for Grammy, too, because he was in oh, the service actually, for you. Guys were. It changed my life. You know, growing up in the project and... Uh, you know, I don't know if I ever told you the story. I, I didn't even tell my mother and father I was going in the service. Mm -hmm. I just left one day and said, I'll see you the little later, you know. <laughs> but going in there, it just strains you well. Mm -hmm. the, the Marines were a little different than they are today, you know. Yeah. And uh, actually, I think half of the guys I was in the service with, all over the country, you know, mm -hmm. often were told, you're either going to prison or you're going to the Marines. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of them did turn out great, you know. It gave you faith, it gave you dignity, it just, you know, what life's all about. Go out there and fight for it, you know, mm -hmm. and really it was great, you know. I'm glad I went in, definitely, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's when I told her, I said, hey, go, you go your way and I'll go mine. So she started dating this guy, Mike. <laughs> oh, gee. No, he was the ugliest no, guy I've ever seen in my no, life. No, no. He was tiny. He was, and his ugly. name was Mickey. It was Mickey. Oh, Mickey. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. That's the one. And, and he had a, a Bel Air. His father went to Carpool Shop. <laughs> oh, my God. That was funny. Well, you said go my way. Yeah, I could go my way. I said, you go way, my way. And so I, my I, way. I, I did. Uh, I dated yeah. this guy for years, and I said, no, I'm going <laughs> to. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Uh, that was a t really. It, 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 and I, I even say that today. I wish more kids, when they get to a certain age, go into service. You know, instead of you seeing them walking up and down the street doing nothing. Look at that! You know, Jake is doing. Yeah, I know it. God. He's gonna do great. You know, mm -hmm. super. He's good. And we yeah. got Owen at Shawshank Tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's gonna do great. You know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. What did help? We're. we're we only got three grandsons, so. Yeah. 11, we got the eight, eight girls. <laughs> girls row. Yeah, yeah right. didn't they do? Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, two more questions. What were your parents like? Oh my God. Well, my parents were, my mother was very strict. If I wasn't home by, say, like nine o'clock, she would come down, walk down to where we I hung around with the, everybody, and all she would do was stand there, and I would turn around and look and say, "Oh my God, there's my mother!" Oh, and I knew I better get my ass home <laughs> because, and then she would give me holy whatever. But my mother was another person that really worked hard. My mother had a really tough life. It was, uh, and I found out later on in life how tough her life was. But she was a good parent. She worked hard. She worked at the city hospital. And, you know, she did the best that she could. And the three of us, Amory, Beth, myself, I think we did really good. My, my dad was another person that was the most kindest person, okay. lovable person. Never said a bad word. Uh, he got his license after flunking, I think, two times. He got it when he was 40. And then he would ask, does anybody want to go for a ride? If you went for a ride, you were gone for four hours. You were all the way to, all yeah. way to Canada and mm -hmm. back. He'd like to take pictures. Yeah. Even when he passed away, I went up and I, I did the talk for him, you know, about him. And I said, the only four letter word he knew was love. Yeah. Was. He was, what an awesome man he was. He you know? was, pa. My father was the often very quiet man. Yeah. Uh, he worked down, he was only a laborer, you know, mm -hmm. down the shipyard. But he was a good guy. Oh yeah, oh, he was a very good guy, you know. Yeah. Worker. But once he lost his job, it was sad for him, you know. Mm -hmm. He'd stay in bed all day. But my mother, oh my God, she 
was 100 she was miles an hour, she'd go every day. And she'd go around the town in, in the project and go knock at people's doors and play the numbers. So she'd get all the numbers and go down and go to the bookie and play the numbers and all that. And she was the funniest woman in the world. You know? We put her in a nursing home. And every Friday night, they'd take her out. They'd go to a pub and have a beer. <laughs> well, actually, her first night there, she took off. We yeah. got a phone call said, your mother took off. We don't know where she is. We're looking for her now. We got the police and everybody. You know? <laughs> and they found her in the way in the woods. They locked the whole place up and she got out. I don't know how she got out. But she was funny. Almost. Everybody knew her in the town. Mm -hmm. You yeah. talk about a walker. She walked all the time. And her favorite ditty was, if you're Irish, yeah. come into the parlor. If you're English, go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> that was her ditty. That. Always, Always oh my god. She was funny, yo. She was funny. It's a funny, uh, and don't you? I think she was glad that you went in the service. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, it's gone. <laughs> no, she was, she was yeah. quite a different woman. She was funny as hell. Yeah, yeah she was. Yeah. They loved her at the nursing home. Oh, my God, if we went there. And, and she was great at <laughs> We went in there one time, and uh, oh no, she was doing a wash. I used to get the wash, bring it home. She's doing. She hears all this noise. What the hell was that? How many sets of teeth? There was like five sets of teeth <laughs> that was in the wash. She was going around. She took everybody's teeth. Yeah, when we when we went back and delivered them, they said, "Thank God." We knew it was her, but we couldn't prove it. And she went around stealing the teeth. <laughs> I was like, "What?" I come up and I was like. Look at this! How how will they ever know who's taking the what? <laughs> you know? Oh God, she was a bugger. <laughs> she was a bugger. Good mom. Yeah. Yep. And then the last question is, what, where's your favorite place to travel to? That you've been? Because you guys have been to a lot of places. We have been to it. You know, a lot of people don't realize that we've been to a lot of no. places. Well, we sat one night, sat right now, right things. I'm thinking, like, wow, you know, Hawaii. Costa Rica and this one here. To, yeah. Oh, wow, we, we did do well. Alaska, we did the cruise. Yeah, we've been uh, to Bermuda. Yeah. Been, uh, My favorite, I don't know. Like, we've been to New York. We've been, well, that's different. Yeah. But the Grand Canyon was probably one of my favorites. We did the national parks. Yeah. That was a great. We did a tour, and uh, the woman in charge, she was phenomenal. Yeah. You know, she was just great. We had a, and there was 10 of us from this street mm -hmm. that went, and we had more lives. And yeah. I remember the kids watching the uh, the video we took. They, all they heard me say was, "I don't believe this is America." It was so beautiful, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, wow, right. you know it is gorgeous. It, Hawaii was so beautiful, yeah. and Costa Rica. Yeah, we we met some of, really yeah. nice, nice people, so it made it our vacation so special. And um, what else? We I forget. <laughs> we we. Alaska was a good trip, too. That was, yeah. that was a really fun trip. Yeah, it's hard to say which was the best, you know? <laughs> they were all okay, Yeah, we did. We did a lot. Yeah, Costa Rica was very nice. Yeah. 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 I said, that's, come on, other islands we went to, too. Yeah. St. Martin's? That's yeah. We went there. Yeah. Oh, I know. That's when we went scuba diving and all the big fish were. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And then the, the kid in the boat, well, he took off. You know, he went around the island, and we're out there snorkeling, and it's like, I'm looking at all these big fish going around, and I'm going, oh, God, is this a barracuda or what, you know? I'm thinking those sharks, like, Oh, my day. God. Yeah. No, it was, a, it was a lot of good trips, you know? Yeah. And, and I think when you go on a trip, you've got to make it interesting yourself. You know, you just don't sit there. Even when, like, we took the Alaska cruise, so many people don't even get off the boat. They stay there, and, you know, most of them just sit down and eat and buy them. But we took off every day, every tour going. We wanted to see, you know. Yeah. And with Costa Rica, we, we took every tour going. Oh, but I, I jumped. Where? <laughs> we went white water rafting, coming down. <laughs> we get off, I go, oh, whew. I see him. I said, where are you going? 
oh, look at that cliff up there. I'm going to jump off that. No, you're not. So she goes up and jumps off. You know what that means? I got to go up and do the jam thing. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and when she jumped off, she went flying down. They had a Somebody scooped me out, scooped but, and it, yeah, but they, it was the kid in the boat was saying, you know, anybody want to, we can pull over, anybody want to go up there and they can jump. So me, I went up with the kid first, he went first, and me second, and you third. <laughs> and then somebody said something about what, what kind of, um, like an alligator or a, a something could have been in that water, and it was Oh, oh, good trips. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. So anyways. What are we going to ask them? Okay. <laughs> All right. So, as grandparents, uh, would you rate us between 1 and 10? Okay? A hundred. A hundred. A hundred. Oh, okay. You guys are very far up there. Oh, all right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Now, is that going to be x-rated or is it all right? <laughs> are, are you going to black out some of that? <laughs> no, it's all great content. <laughs>